the research group I'm the leader of is the Interactive Technologies Group. It's a group that we deal with the human side of technology. Uh, we are interested not only in the technologies, but uh, how all these technologies that currently are pervasive can be used uh, as much as possible by people, and then in that sense that uh, they are oriented towards people and not the people to the technologies. Uh, although, of course, in some of the cases, to make the technologies ma more usable by people, what we need to do is to advance the technologies. Our group is composed of a mixture of different backgrounds, uh, be them artistic or technology or educational, because in that sense we, we can have the different approaches to, to the technology in a way that we take into account cultural differences and different uses of technologies. We try to uh, develop new technologies that respond to the needs of these people. Um, and we study specific cases where these needs offer challenges. We have several applications that are dedicated, uh, for example, to old people uh, that respond to, the, to their needs uh, for interacting with information. We try to understand what are their needs and design according to their needs. We also study um, certain environments such as cities and see in cities how people interact with information in public spaces, in metro. At the graphic group of uh, the GTI, we're working uh, mainly on, um, on uh, synthetic images and uh, um, procedurally enhancing the acting of the virtual characters. In that way, we hope that we will be able to, uh, to make the interaction and the, the process of, uh, of connecting with the final uh, user of an audiovisual piece, making uh, the, the things and the contents uh, arrive to the, to the final user in, in a better way, uh, being more impacting in some way. In our group, we are interested in providing technological solutions for education, for example, for formal education at schools, where we want to prove if uh, interactive questionnaires are useful for the students, or, for example, for informal scenarios where lifelong learners, for example, adult people, that are interested in use technology for improved their abilities, and then uh, we want to prove if our um, e-learning technology can help these uh, students to improve their knowledge. Uh, our group is about uh, 35 people and in these people we have uh, people from several nationalities and, and from different parts of Spain. <laughs> 